We have breaking news tonight at 6. We now know the reason five Greenwood police officers have either resigned or been suspended. Text messages, some filled with profanities and slurs, were made public. Fox 59's chief investigator Steve Brown joins us to describe this new information we've learned tonight. Dan and Aaliyah, those text conversations took place among the five officers on department laptops. We requested and received some disciplinary records, including records on Officer Sam Bowen, who has been suspended and faces disciplinary charges. We do want to warn you, this story contains disturbing language. It's sad that it's gotten to that state. We spoke with Bowen this morning before we got the police records. Bowen and his attorney refused to answer any questions related to the disciplinary hearing coming up next month. You will hear from him shortly, but first, we can tell you the department went back and collected two years of Officer Bowen's instant messages, in total 5,300 pages worth. In text conversations with five other Greenwood cops, the investigation found Bowen used the word Jew as a slur 56 times. Slurs referring to gays were found used by Bowen 25 times. Bowen also was found to have used a racial slur on one occasion, apparently complaining about his drive through order at Popeye's that did not include sauce. There was this text from Bowen. I was feeling like indulging in what it's like to be this racial slur. Bowen, was asked in an interdepartmental interview earlier this month if he was referring to African Americans when he used the slur. Bowen's reply, I believe so, yes. Now Bowen has a federal lawsuit against the Greenwood Police Chief James Eisen, which was filed in June. This after Bowen lost off-duty work privileges after making comments on Facebook, claiming crime in Greenwood was worse than the chief or Mayor Mark Myers were willing to admit. Bowen claims the entire text investigation is retaliation by the chief because of that lawsuit. Chief Eisen has a long history of retaliating against officers. I was in the position that I felt like I was okay taking that risk. I felt like I could see punishment coming down the line, but somebody needed to stand up because it had been going on for a long time. In this interview, Bowen would not respond to questions about what he said in those interdepartmental text messages. Now, late, late this afternoon, after receiving the disciplinary documents, I spoke with Bowen's attorney, Jay Meisenhelder, tells me while the language used in the text was inappropriate, they were, in his view, good-spirited trash talk among fellow officers and not directed at anyone outside of that group of cops involved in those chats. Steve Brown. Fox 59 News. Steve, thank you. To learn more about the charges against the officers in this investigation, you can head to fox59.com and click on this story on our homepage.